This is a capsule hotel. At least one type of capsule hotel. You'll find them across Japan, originally conceived as a way to provide cheap and basic overnight accommodations. But as I learned on my most recent trip, the concept of the capsule hotel is evolving. Take for instance Nine Hours, a minimalist, futuristic brand of capsule hotels. You can rent per night or even for a few hours to nap or freshen up. Guests are separated by gender and have access to their own locker, private shower, toiletries, uniform, and of course, their own capsule to sleep in. In these capsules, you'll typically find fresh linens, electrical outlets, and even an alarm system tied to the lighting in each capsule to minimize the disruption to other guests. At other upscale capsules, you'll find even more. First Cabin, another brand of capsule hotel, is completely redefining the potential of these spaces. Based around an airport theme, which is fitting since this particular location is literally in Haneda Airport in Tokyo, you'll find rows of cabins of two sizes, business class and first class. The first class cabins offer a little bit more space with a TV, nightstand, and a lockable compartment for your valuables since the capsules themselves can't be locked according to law. Again, each guest is provided with a uniform, slippers, toiletries, and access to all the amenities like common areas with vending machines, laundry facilities, and a gender-segregated shower and spa. Capsule hotels are a great option for travelers who have a tight budget or who just want a unique experience. They're not nearly as claustrophobic as you might think, and the upscale capsules offer some amenities that would rival a luxury hotel. I actually even made a friend at one that I stayed at in Tokyo, so think of the capsule hotel as a more refined version of a hostel. They're affordable, clean, and almost always located close to attractions and train stations. If you liked this video, make sure to share it and subscribe to Gunnarola on YouTube. Thanks for watching! We'll be back next week with more travel and adventures. À la prochaine!